Hello and welcome to my video. So I'm starting off by applying foundation and I'm applying these two foundations here because they give me the perfect shade to match my body. So next I'm taking the HD Brows Eye and Brow Palette. This is the shade Bombshell and I'm taking this shade here. This is just going to fill in my brows and I'm also going to do my brows really messy today um, just to give the appearance that I have really full grown brows and that I haven't put my brows in a long time just to make me look really messy. I'm also applying the Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel just to stick my hairs up to make them look even messier you can use hairspray for this with a spoolie brush it just works just as well next I'm taking this eyeshadow palette and I'm using this shade here as a transition color I love using this shade as well as makeup geek peach smoothie they work really well next I'm taking this shade here and it is a makeup geek makeup geek creme brulee this is just going to go into the inner crease and also into my um, inner part of the eye this is going to make me look like I have dark circles and they'll look really tired Next I'm taking the shade Mango Tango by Makeup Geek. I'm just going to blend this through and um, this is going to make it look like I have sore eyes, that I'm ill and that I am tired as well. So just blend all them colours through and it will give you a really nice realistic look. Um, to go even further I actually take this purple shade from this Sleek Makeup Palette just to make my eyes look even more tired, just to make it look more emphasised and it worked really well. So just blend that through, make sure there's no harsh lines so it looks really true and realistic. So next I'm taking the Rimmel London Scandalize Nude um, K-Gel Liner. Um, this is just going to go in the waterline just to give me a nice natural look. You can actually use a pink one if you want to make your eyes look really sore. That will be really good effective as well. So I'm just taking this really pink blusher from Makeup Academy just to make me look like I'm sick and I am ill and I'm flushed. Next I'm taking this shade by Makeup Geek Mango Tango and I'm just going to try and resemble the fact that I've got a cold sore or that I've got blisters on my lips and I'm adding some um, lip pencil which is a dark red shade just to give the appearance of blood and scabs um, so just blend that through just rub it in with um, a brush and rub it in your finger as well so here I am looking sick so the next thing I need to do is try and make myself look better by applying makeup so in the olden days or in Les, Les Mis um, they actually use um, powder to make themselves look like they have put makeup on so you can use this talcum powder by Johnson's or you can actually use white face paint the reason why I didn't use face paint is because I don't want it to be extreme I want it to look quite soft still um, but you can use face paint if you wanted to I also found it very difficult to put this on my face so I ended up using a brush rather than a pad because it's really hard to tip over and it was just going everywhere all over my clothes and <laughs> um, so next I'm taking this shade by Makeup Geek and it's just shade Mocha and I'm just going for a smoky eye look just to look like I'm actually wearing eyeshadow on my sick looking eyes and um, so just blend that through and also you want to be messy with this because you want to look like that you've been wearing makeup for a long time um, so now I'm just using mascara I don't know if they would actually wear mascara in them days but I didn't want to look dead I wanted to look like I actually tried to wear makeup so I just put a little bit of mascara on so I'm using this blusher by sleek makeup and it's in the shade flushed and in the olden days the um, blusher is very exaggerated so try and use a really dark shade and make yourself look like a clown basically <laughs> um, so now I'm taking this red lipstick by L'Oreal Paris and I'm just rubbing that on my lips really roughly like I've been wearing lipstick all day and that it's been smudged so just smudge it in with your fingers as well to give a really nice effect. I also added talcum powder as well just to make it more matte looking. So I'm just going in now and I'm just basically touching up all the little areas going through. Um, now I'm taking this and I'm making it look like I have mud all over my face. This is just eyeshadow, you can use any brown eyeshadow you want. So I'm just smudging it in all over my body as well. Um, just to make me look like I haven't showered or bathed in a few months. Um, so just to make it look like you are really dirty. Um, so then I'm just taking this shade here and I'm actually trying to resemble the fact that I've got bruises on my body. So I was thinking here about looking like I've been strangled or something. So yeah, just blend that all through. Um, I also added a bit on my head just to make it look like I've got a bruised head, like I've been battered and punched around. Um, I used talcum powder as well just to soften up a little bit and just to blend out any harsh lines. So next is a optional part. I'm taking this bronzer by um, Collection and I'm actually going to do some contouring on my breast or on my chest, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, in them days, prostitutes did actually have really large breasts just because they wore corsets and they tried to push them up more. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Just contour them and also wear a push-up bra helps as well. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to try and look like I've got gaps in my teeth. So I'm using this Gel Studio Eyeliner. I don't know if you could 
if you should put this on your teeth um, but it was the only thing that I got and it worked really well actually so I'm just creating gaps in my teeth to make it look like I have mouldy teeth it worked really well I was really impressed by it so now I'm just applying this um, lip pencil again on the coleslaw and I'm also applying it on my head you could use fake blood for this but I just wanted to use the makeup that I already had so now I'm just taking makeup geek in the shade mocha and I'm just applying some beauty spots so now it's time for the hair so I'm just taking out my hair and making it look really messy I don't bother by washing it or brushing it because I want to look as messy as possible so I start off by back combing just the front of it in some of the pictures that I've seen of the lovely ladies most people had curly hair but I just wanted to use what I had and just do it quickly so I'm just popping it up in a burn behind and just adding a hair bubble and then I just pull out some sections just to make it look really messy and this actually only took a few minutes to do so it's really quick and really easy and simple then I'm taking this talcum powder I'm just applying it to the front of my hair just to show the appearance of grey hair and this is the finished look. I've really enjoyed making this tutorial and filming this for you. Please hit the like button, share and subscribe. I really hope you enjoyed it as well and I shall see you in my next video.